the Eliza versus the Heihachi, no surprises. Yeah, let's see what, what happens here between Kira and Draconis. Uh, and like you were saying before, you know, it might be a bit difficult for the, you know, the Hiachi to get in, but that was a beautiful sidestep into 1-1-2 one, one, there. And a big block on the health people already. And another big thing about this matchup is that, you know, that double that double health sweep from Heihachi, minus 10, that means Eliza gets a big punish with that crouch jab into DP. Yeah. It's not as safe and easy to use as it is against other characters. All right. Pressuring with the electrics, the forward forward two, and that was a really nice punish there. Very you know, specific punish, yeah. Oh, going to get the down forward one two as well there. And you, you're seeing Kira Kira ducking early, maybe just trying to fish out on a hell sweep or even like a down one again. That that duck jab into DP punish is a lot da of damage that uh, a Hachi player would not be used to in a kind of in a normal Tekken matchup. But going down to five seconds here. Oh, my God, goes for the and down again, back. Just like I mentioned before. Jump back, yes. At the end of the round, you have to watch out for Kira Kira. Jumping back, threatening the dive kick, and if you get scared, especially if he has the life lead, he's just wasting time. Yeah, exactly, and a really big launcher there again. You know, that, that dive kick there, you know, the jump back as well, you know, can be used as an offensive tool, but also defensive like you saw it there. It's so difficult to deal with uh, in Tekken 7. And you see Eliza here are in the second round. Full stick of meter, hasn't spent it yet. Unlike, uh, you know, Hakuma and Geese, the other 2D characters in the game, Eliza never had a nerf to her meter gain. So she is almost yeah, get almost it. always has a bar or is near yeah. having a bar. Yeah, this is a good position you know, for Kira. Two bars, one round, you know, looking to close out this uh, game. He might be looking to use these bars very, very soon here. Let's see if Draconis can do anything. He uses the Rage Drive there. It's, it's pretty Pretty annoying, actually, the fact that you know if you're fighting this Eliza, you haven't even kind of forced her to use meter yet. But you might see it on a one counter hit, one one into a super, or even a down three into super, just cash it all out. Yeah, let's see how you know Draconis fights back here. You know, Kira in a really controlling position here. And I remember Kira using so many. Oh, there you go. He cashed one out there. So I look at the meat. How quick it's already. Yeah, he already has a third of a bar. Closing in on a half. Yeah, and that was within like one or two seconds. Yeah, and that's why like even on even if on paper the Eliza might not be as good as Akuma, oh, because oh. she's never meter starved, she always has more opportunity to get kind of big damage opportunities. But Draconis threading the needle, getting that 442, and getting around on the board here. Yeah, you know, Kira Kira ducking from half screen in these situations, you know, two four four twos and now you can see he's mixing up with the big lows as well. He must be scared of really nice uh and I really like the way Kira Kira is playing this on infinite stage. Normally you think, okay, Eliza, wall stage, big damage and stuff. But, you know, the 2D characters in general, they kind of learned how to just play on infinite stage. And for a lot of Eliza players, that means kind of playing this, like, turtley runaway style. But Draconis, again, right in the needle, getting some big damage. But the one, back one, one. Oh, what's he going to do here? He's going to go, is he going to go for a mixer? Oh, wow, life yes. is very even here. Oh, so close, Bloodhawk. You have to be careful. Ooh, wow, what a bait and... Oh, and the Rager? Man, making a statement here for sure. Did not need to do that, but maybe trying to buy some time. But the bait was so good there, right? Clear his head, you made her spend both bars of meter in quick succession. Yeah, the patience from Dracona is so good here. You know, he's playing a really good game. After a, quite a slow start there, you know, Kira dominating the first two rounds. Draconis has found the way back here. And I really like the fact that he hasn't even shown the Rage Drive yet. Good, 4-4-1. Gonna cash out damage here. Keeping him close with the Ender. Because if she has meter and you try to go for, let's say, you try to fish with the one back two, uh, Eliza can EXDP through it if she has meter on reaction. Yeah. It's frame one invulnerable. So we haven't even seen the rage art come out of uh, the rage drive come out of Draconis yet. Yeah, maybe he's aware. He's punish yeah, on the down four. He does the right combo dead. instead, right? Oh, oh no, messes it up. That is so unfortunate. Draconis has given Kira Kira away in now. Bloodhook. Small character. The axe kick whiffed. He got a bar, but oh no, this is clean. Oh, this is the start of something. There's 10 seconds remaining as well. So close. I think this is a really wise option. Just freezes well. the timer. Yeah. You're gonna get some damage. They keep the life bars a little bit close, and then at the very least, you can try and bet it all on one more interaction. Yeah, this is final round. Super. Smell that nice block. The Oh, the fireball hit, it made the life bars even, and he yeah. bet it all on that down four. But Draconis sidestep duck, he already was going to duck there, but instead the down four whiffed, and he got the punish there. Really good comeback from Draconis, was down two yeah, rounds he pretty was, yeah. fast, yeah. and then he was like, okay, 
He wants to play this slow, kind of plodding yeah. pace. Let me match it, let me get used to it. And he got really, kind of, he got kind of hooked up on a couple of clutch 4-4-2s. Four, four yeah, so and many 4-4-2s four, four hit in Bloodhawk. Yeah, you know, really, really good uh, stuff by Draconis there. And on the back foot though first, you know, starting off very slow and getting into the game again and takes that first game, you know, really incredible play from him, really good decision making as well and a really clutch block at the end. Mm -hmm. A big low though, you know, high risk in that situation. I don't think that would have killed as well. Um, it might have left him with one pixel remaining, I'm not too sure on that, but you know, really good play either way. Yep, and again, one of those situations where it's like, you know, we saw it with a lot of other situations today at high level play, something messes up, you don't dwell, you just move on, you just move on to the next situation. Really interesting here not to go for the wall stage though. Ops to stay uh, on the infinite here. Kira Kira did have the sto uh, stage choice. Yeah, kept it going. Figured he just came down to, okay, let me not get hit by these 4-4-2s. Uh, four, four let me not be a little bit more risky. He's ducking on my down fours and stuff. If I just clean up that, it doesn't necessarily matter if we stay on this infinite stage. You see him threatening with the back two, trying to set out that range drive. Yep, Comes so out now. Yep, really nice. Time's going to be a factor here, and again, it feels like it's a carbon copy. Ooh, but wow, he hit he hit Eliza at the tip of the screen. Oh, right he's not going to kill. And he risky bet, but it paid off big for Draconis, drawing for the crouch test down three. Yeah, it seems like all of Draconis' reads, all of the risk he's taken is paying off. You know, and it's good that he's not deterred from using lows because remember round one, the Hellsweep got blocked instantly, yes. but he's still using lows. And as a Mishima player, you really need to have the mental where like, you know, if one low gets blocked, it doesn't matter. You can still enforce the, you know, the Hellsweep and big yeah. low mix up. I mean, it's like, it. it Heihachi is already starved for lows. It's not like yeah. Kazuo yeah. or Devil Jin or even regular Jin where they have other options to go to. You know, Heihachi, you really just have down back to Hell Sweep and down four. So you can't necessarily stop doing them. You just have to, why is he blocking low at this time? Yeah. And then fish it up. But Kira getting the launch, getting a decent life lead here. But Draconis made that comeback in the first round. Yeah, these lows are adding up there and a really nice jump back. So unfortunate to not get anything from it. And again, time is going to be a factor here. Wasting time with this, and so hard to react to the EX Moonglide Unblockable. I believe it's 10 oh frames God. faster than the regular version, but three frames. Yeah. No way he can come back. Kira, yeah. Yeah, Kira just being like, you can't, you can't do enough damage to kill me like this. So it's just like, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna win that. But you know what? It's really good. Um, I feel like one player, especially that does this the best, is Kira. Kira. He's always aware of his time. He's always, you know, looking at the time and seeing, you know, what's the best situation uh, to do when there's 10 seconds remaining and. It always seems to go in his favor. Yep. And again, just like him, we're worth playing this plotting style, but the Raijin stands parry, parrying the one jab from Eliza. Draconis just, it's its a struggle, but he's finding these small opportunities to keep the matches close. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, really good. Tries the forward forward two again, but Kira Kira tries to punish there. Didn't work out though. But Kira trying to be super aggressive and spend the meter. I think a really good decision there by Kira Kira to go for the low. You know, he's been using a lot of mids now, and Kira's trying to open him up now with, with the lows, because Draconis is not really ducking too much in these situations. You got a you know, you few key ducks in the first game, but like, yes, like you said, not doing as much of it in game two. All right, really, uh, again, just really slow, very safe here. Again, going with more forward forward twos there. Draconis has gone back to playing safe, and as I say, that goes for a big low. Ooh. Oh, he missed the electric punish. Big opportunity, but goes for the DF2 counter hit instead. That's a really a sign of a good Mishima player when they're willing to use that DF2. You know, like, sometimes it could be a messed up electric, but a good Mishima player knows when they have a good 15 frame launcher. But good low parry on the Moonglide slide. Now, Draconis, is he going to try and stay on this life lead? He's going to force Kira Kira to come to him. Oh. And because of that, forces Kira Kira to try and use the down three to get some pressure going. And we're going into final round of game two. Wow, you know what? Uh, really good uh, stuff. You know, as well, something that I've noticed is Draconis is not throwing out electrics at all. No. I feel like I've seen one only. And, you know, Draconis is on his way to moving on in this loser's bracket here. And the 4-4-2 hits it. Punish the, the jump landing yeah. with the 4-4-2. Again, keeping, ending the combo with the back one cancel. Yeah, keep him close. We can't count Kira out yet, though. Kira, you know, really good at making comebacks there. He's still in the game. He's, he's, got, he's about to have a full bar of meter here. Ooh, again. 
Oh, now Kira the electrics come out. You see that blood hole. Yeah, but it's bring it. Here, Kira, he's decided to. He, he stopped punishing the 4 4 twos with the 4 3. He's trying to be a little bit more greedy with the back one. Two bars of meter as well. So close. 20 seconds remaining. Time is going to be a factor here. It looks like Kira Kira is going to need Locking. to make some sort of comeback. Jonas is willing to block. Yep. Is he going to spend his meter? Use the power crush. Going to get the guaranteed 4 4 2 afterwards. Just trying to waste time. Waste time. Run away. Oh, no. It's Rage Out, Rage Out. He has to Rage Yeah, he has yes. to because there's four seconds remaining. But I don't think, I'm not sure if this is going to give him the life lead. No. Is it one final mix up? He's going to need to go for a big mid or a big low. Decision time, Bloodhawk. I can't tell who's in the lead here. Ooh, what a duck with no oh, poke. Oh, he's going to win. He's going to win. He's going to oh, win. Oh. That one low oh. poke doing just enough damage. And Kira Kira getting away with murder yeah. and forcing it to a final game here both players having coaches you see pika right there coming up to coach draconis if you're draconis do you want to bring it to a walled stage and try and you know force kira kira to you know stop this runaway kind of style or do you want to kind of like it's annoying it's mm. frustrating but draconis seems like he has a plan on this infinite stage even if it might be super frustrating yeah and pika there you see giving him advice as well but you know we have to talk about kira kira at the end there, I feel like his decisions are so clutch. Like he makes the right reads. He, again, looking at the time, understand there's four seconds remaining. I need to freeze that time. I need to go straight into that rage art. And already thinking about his plan, he takes it there right at the end. And we're going into the infinite again. You know, chooses uh, not to go to the wall stage. Believes in his ability, but he did have the right game plan. Just yes. at the end there, you know, Kira, you know, guessing correctly and, and taking the win yeah, on a timeout. I mean, like, he, remember, like, he bet it all on that Moon Glide slide and yeah. managed to convert it because he had the EX dive kick available. So there's a, definitely a situation where Draconis, you know, blocks that low and wins the whole set yeah. instead. All right, here we go. Again, using the wave dash, and now he started more with the electrics, I think, because he's respecting, you know, the, oh, he could have let it rip there. And the Kira Kira, you saw right there, that's the first time he's used the back one, two in this set so far. Uses the mid option this time as well. Kira Kira in front now, after that close game two. And using the standing four now. Using new moves that he hasn't yet used. It looks like he's willing, he's not jumping back as more either, like yeah. just like aimlessly. He's decided to keep a little bit more grounded. Yeah, has two bars of meter as well. Draconi's got a really healthy life lead here as well. But or two. Here, here fighting back here. Nice block. Blocks the Moonglide slide this time. And it should kill. Oh, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. nice. Axe kick into down one. It's the most, it's, I believe it's the most damage that you can get Max on damage. infinite stage. Yeah. There's no wall to carry to, so there's no reason to do the health sweep ender. Uh, again, big low there, you know. Ooh, under the jab, cause it this is huge damage for him. Ends it with the forward back 2-1 and a huge 70% life lead. Kira Kira just outside of rage. All right, that down, that low poke put him Kira Kira into rage. Yeah, I, you know, Draconis is playing correctly here. You know, he shouldn't overextend. Do not take any risk right now. The time is going down. Yeah. You have a huge life lead, Blood 30 hole. seconds is a long time to turtle this out, though. But great there you go. sidestep, Demon's Breath. And then the run up down one to catch it. And Draconis now one round away into moving on in this loser's bracket. Kira Kira, he's got to do something. Otherwise, he'll be eliminated. Trying to use the CD3 to jump over the dark wave. Yeah, two bars a meter as well. Locked and loaded here. Kira Kira definitely needs to use his resource now. Here. And Kira Kira, it's like he's been pressured so much now. He hasn't even had an opportunity to spend this meter that he has. Spending it now. No. No, okay. He's the move led one. Yeah, he's got so much resource. You know, he really def definitely needs to look to use it right now. Otherwise, Draconis is going to take Full this. Low. Oh my god, it goes for the tracking move here. Oh, in the Ooh, back! Oh my that was an omen though! Oh, no way, he's gonna pay the ultimate price for that. Goes for the mid option. Is he gonna go for another mid? You have to guess Draconis. And now he's jumping back, threatening the EX dive kick. 20 seconds, oh. and the one, the very first, first yes. time he used.